I'm Veena Srinivasan. I work with the Well Labs, Water Environment, Land and Livelihoods, and I'm based in Bangalore, India. What is your role at Well Labs? I am the founder and executive director of Well Labs and we are a research and innovation center as I said. So uh, I guess keeping it alive, uh, achieving impact, making sure it grows, that's my role. So my, I started off, my college degree was in physics um, and my childhood dream was to be an astrophysicist. Uh, I realized very quickly I wanted to do more applied work, so I'd actually made the shift to energy and environment even during my undergraduate. Uh, I worked on solar electrification, I moved into the energy sector, got a degree <laughs> from Boston University in energy analysis, moved back to India, I was working in the electricity utility sector, and then the oil and gas sector, and I realized that I didn't have uh, the hustle required to be a wheeler and dealer in the oil and gas sector. It was just not something that appealed to me. Um, and I realized that my, my passion and interest and conscience wanted me to be elsewhere. And so the switch to water kind of was a, was a natural one because water tends to be a public good. And I say everything about water is like one tenth of energy in terms of money flows and so on. So I went back and got my PhD at Stanford University. That's when my big shift to water happened and I worked at Pacific Institute. Um, and so that kind of cemented my, my interest. But for the longest time, after I moved back to India in 2013, I was working as a researcher and I realized that a lot of the research was just sitting in reports and papers and even things we understood which were obvious were not getting mainstreamed into policy and practice. Which is why I made a sharp pivot a few years ago to move from research to research and innovation, which is much, which I would say being in, interdisciplinary, which I've always been, to being transdisciplinary, which is to work very actively and instead say, instead of saying, here's the research we have taken and do something with it, ask really what are your burning questions and how and pain points and how can I address them with better research. So that's what we do and that's where we are. Sure. Um, I would say, I, I would say, and I don't know if this is true of all young women today, so maybe it was more true of my generation, I don't know. But I would say that the water sector, particularly in the developing world, and especially if you're working like in utilities and some of the more technical pieces of it, can feel very intimidating, intimidating because it's an all-male sector and, and at least I've seen you know encountered situations where people can be downright hostile and rude and so on and I think some of it is I personally took executive coaching uh, and leadership coaching lessons because I realized I was struggling to cope with some of the challenges and what I found was to so work with an executive coach or work with a, a, a leadership coach if you can but I, what one of the things that she taught me was this idea of holding power with grace, which is that you don't have to be defined by the way you think others see you Some, and sometimes we exaggerate it not in our own heads but you don't have to be defined by others. You can kind of learn to turn the tables and hold your own with grace. So finding that inner kind of strength and power um, is and working with somebody who will help you find it. I'm not saying do it by yourself. And then learning to hold it. I think that really, really has helped me. The second thing I think is that I struggled with a lot and continue to struggle is what I call the good girl syndrome. Um, at least culturally, we're kind of taught that girls are compliant, uh, and there's lots of research that backs it up. It's not just me saying it, that, you know, women, we apologize more, we, we, we tend to be less assertive because people said that success and have shown that success and likability is negatively correlated for women. And I think, therefore, we struggle with, at least I struggled with not being liked. Uh, but you, you, if you climb up the leadership ranks, you have to take tough decisions. So sometimes I have to let a person go because they're not a right fit for the entire team, but I have to be thinking about it in terms of the team. That kind of stuff of, of being comfortable with doing difficult stuff and people not liking you for it was something that I had to learn. It wasn't something that culturally came, but I realized it was a very necessary part of my 